Hello, Simon 3D here. Today I don't have any fancy intro for you because the effect is fairly simple, so we will just get right into it. What I will show you today is how, in an easy and procedural way, you can get this fire effect in Blender in about 5 minutes or it should be even faster. I mean, you probably can see it right now in the timeline. Anyway, if you don't feel like following the tutorial and you just want the blend file, then I think it should be on my Gumroad. A uh, link for that is in the description. And also, if you manage to use it or make something cool out of this technique that I'm gonna show you, make sure to tag me on Twitter. A link for that is in the description as well. I would really love to see your work. And let's jump into the Fresh Blender scene. So here we can delete everything and get a mesh uh, sphere because that is gonna be the base for our effect. Now, first thing we want to do is right click and shade smooth so that we have a nice smooth surface. And also go into the object data properties, normals and enable auto smooth. This is very important because now we we are gonna use a modifier called normal edit and it only works when you have a auto smooth enabled so we will leave the normal edit as it is for now we will come back to it later and now let's add another modifier uh, displays and click new to add a texture to it and now we can go down to this texture tab change the type from image to clouds and as you can see we have a displacement on our sphere uh, you don't have to worry about these values right now because we will control it via empty later so don't worry about it and right now as you can see we have the displacement going on on all of the surface but because it's a fire effect we want it to be sort of cut out on the bottom and only displace our mesh like upwards and on the sides but we want the bottom to be fairly flat and that is where this normal edit comes handy so we will need another object so shift a empty empty is fine uh, let's bring it down and also name it accordingly so it's gonna be our normal Control. And now with the sphere selected in the modifiers tab, the target in the normal edit modifier is going to be the empty that we just created. As you can see, there's some stuff happening, but not really what we would expect. So let's open this mix tab and change the mix mode from copy to add. And then in the displace modifier, change the direction from normal to custom normal. And this, as you can see, already makes it so that it only displaces the mesh according to the custom normals that we just edited. So in our case, we are basically uh, controlling it with the other object. So the displacement goes outwards relatively to the position of our empty. You can even further emphasize that and see uh, what it does. Now, the second thing we want is another empty, but this time to control the displacement of our mesh. So shift A, empty plane axis again. Uh, let's move it a little bit lower as well somewhere here and also name it a displace controller and this time in our sphere under the displace modifier change the coordinates from local to object and then the object is gonna be the displace controller that we just created this way we have two empties one is controlling in which direction the displacement happens and the other one is controlling the texture of our displacement so we can change the scale and also uh, we can just phase through the seed by simply moving it in a 3D space. So now let's adjust some values. Uh, in the displays, I recommend something like one should be good enough and then control it further with this empty, the displays controller. Make it so that it looks sort of like, like this, maybe like a cactus or something, maybe a little bit more strength even. And now let's grab this displays controller and with the frame animation on the first frame, hover over the viewport and click I and add a keyframe location and then move it, I don't know, like 20 frames or something and then move this empty upwards somewhere, maybe here. Don't have to be too specific. We can always adjust it later. And then again, I location so that we have our uh, small animation of the noise, as you can see. And then to make it go forever, just hover over the timeline. And first of all, click T to change the interpolation uh, from Bezier to linear, and then shift E and choose linear extrapolation, which is gonna basically make this uh, empty go upwards indefinitely doesn't matter how long your animation is. And you can always make this animation faster or slower by simply moving this second keyframe either further away to make it slower or closer to the first keyframe to make it faster. But I will leave it at 20 and maybe I'll adjust it later. But now let's move on to the materials. So let's drag in a new viewport, change it to shader editor. With the sphere selected, click new to create new material. And we can delete the principled BSDF. And the material is very, very simple. So first of all, we will need a Fernell node. And the second is a color ramp. Let's connect it like so. And then at the end, we will need a emission shader node. And let's connect all of them together and go into the render preview to see what we're actually working with. So this is just a Fernell, which is making the edges being highlighted and sort of the surfaces in the middle darker. So we can use that information and just lay in the colors in our color ramp to make it look like a stylized fire. First of all, let's change the interpolation from linear to constant. 
so that we don't have a gradient but rather a very sharp contrasty colors uh, sort of the cell shaded look and then we can start laying in some colors so first of all uh, let's change the black to something reddish maybe a bit darker then something more orangey then the third one even brighter something like this and then last one at the very end much much brighter almost white so that when we will have a bloom effect it will it will all come out together very nicely so just the last one just on the, the very edges you can adjust this like that now let's go into the render tab and make sure that your render engine is ev and that you have a bloom enabled and with the bloom enabled now when you increase the emission strength you can see that the image looks like it's actually burning like it's actually emitting light so let's just set it to i don't know something like three and when you play the animation you can see that the fire is happening but it's happening way too fast and to get that like anime like uh, look what i found out works best is if you just go to the output properties and change the frame rate from 24 to 12 then it just makes it look so much better and just like that the base is done all there is to it now is just make some adjustments so we can take the sphere and for example scale it on the x-axis to make it sort of uh, and you can go to the displace modifier and maybe like lower the intensity a bit so that it's not so chaotic or you can get the displace controller and just scale it a little bit so that the edges are not too jagged maybe increase it a little bit and it already starts looking quite nicely and then of course uh, because the sphere didn't have that much geometry to work with in the first place you can always add a for example subdivision modifier you can either add it at the end and then increase the displace so that you have this sort of smooth out edges but then you will need to adjust the material as well because then the red is uh, I think it's too much so what you can also do is bring the subdivision all the way up so we have more geometry to work with in the first place and then we can decrease this display a little bit and i think this looks so much better but again the shape of the sphere is the most important thing so we can for example grab this vertice and just make it look more like a flame and then when you get out of the edit mode it looks so much better and also as you can see that the red part is only down here uh, where the mesh is thicker and that is all thanks to the fernel node that we have in the material and that is it for the tutorial so i hope you learned something i will for sure make more tutorials with this normal edit modifier because i just found it and i think it has a huge potential and now to the community art showcase uh first of all is grimcake who used the fire in a ball uh, tutorial to make this soul stone and i think it looks really nice especially with this face it uh, look of the crystal it's safe and i assume it's the glass transmission that is giving it this really really nice uh, effect of this fire being reflected here so really great job second one is zero from art by zero who made this fire tutorial but with different kind of noises to sort of compare them and i think this just shows how easily you can make quite different results using the same technique by just simply swapping uh, one node in there so really nice nice stuff and by the way i recommend you just go into their twitter and check it by yourself because then the quality is probably going to be much better than what you can see on my screen right now then the third one is arsham i think is literally like the first viewer in this channel so i'm really happy that you stick around here uh says a lot and and he used this liquid on a trail thing but instead of making it water it looks more like lava and i think it really looks cool it's sort of like a 90s computer game lord of the rings kind of vibe to me i don't know let me know what you think and that would be it for the community showcase i decided that i will have just three in every episode just because uh, i get quite a lot uh, of those recently and i just don't want to make this segment uh, blow up to be like you know 10 minutes so i'm just randomly selecting three and that would conclude this video i hope that you enjoyed it and took something away from it again when you do something cool with it then share with me on twitter link for that is in the description and if you want to grab the file i think i'll upload it on my gumroad so you can get it there as well and thanks for watching bye bye